Hey, welcome to the first ever Zelda Informer podcast. I'm your host, Adam, and today I'm joined by... Uh, my name's Adam, uh, also. Um, I go online by Adam the Rev Jr. I'm Colin. I like long walks on the beach and video games. This is Jay, and I'm extremely tired. Awesome. Uh, this being Zelda Informer's reboot podcast, we had a podcast a couple years back, but uh, it was canceled, and uh, I was brought on board to the Zelda Informer team to start a new one. So, let's get started. On this podcast, we're going to be talking about some news relating to Zelda, Nintendo, video games, and anything in between. Uh, it's a community podcast, so feel free to email us suggestions, tips, stories, or anything you really want to talk about at our email address, zeldainformerpodcast at gmail.com. That's zeldainformerpodcast at gmail.com. So, how's everybody doing tonight? I know Jay said you're tired. <laughs> yeah, that's just nice. I'm on the cape. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, Tick! Papa John's. <laughs> uh, we'll make... Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you know why, Adam. <laughs> Alright, uh, I ordered Papa John's at like 6.40, and it oh. didn't arrive until like 10 minutes ago, and oh right God. now it's 9 o'clock, so... <laughs> Speaking of delays, uh... Uh, did what game got delayed recently that I'm thinking of? It was it was it Hyrule Warriors or was it Smash Bros? Half Life Three, the most all the time. Uh, no, neither all one got time. delayed. I think. Really, I thought uh, wasn't Smash Smash Four supposed to come out sometime in September, and now it's been delayed to October. No, no. I, um, Smash is out in Japan right now, and it's always been sli- it They said end of summer originally. I yeah, I thought it was out on the thirteenth. Oh, by the way, guys, we're recording this podcast on Thursday night, and it's going to be coming out Saturday afternoon, so our information might be a little old. I know that a Smash uh, Direct Connect is going to be going on tomorrow, on Friday, for about eight hours. They're going to be spending time just talking about the game. Oh, final my build. God. Yeah. Speaking of that game, a lot of news has been c- coming out in, in the, from like the woodworks in the past couple hours. Uh, some people have some advanced copies of the game, and they've been spoiling like crazy. Now, we're not going to be talking about it so much, because so, you guys probably don't want to hear the spoilers yet, but we're going to be talking about a few things. Um, say right now what was spoiled, literally everything was spoiled. Well, considering this isn't going to go up yeah. until Saturday or Sunday, um, theoretically the news would have already hit, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's already on Kotaku. They already have. Yeah, but some people are probably going to be avoiding the news. Because they don't want to hear spoilers. Good point. Uh, good point. The, the full roster size has been revealed, and there have been really surprising characters added to it. And a lot of things have been put to rest, thankfully. Like, uh, is Ridley going to be in the game? Is Ganon going to be in the game? Oh, man, Ridley pisses me off so much. Not because. It, the people who like Ridley piss me off, because, like, Ridley's a character! He was shown as a boss on Pyrosphere during the du- original Direct. I mean. Oh, my God. I honestly was just worried about my man Ganondorf, and I'm still worried that he's not going to be in the final game. I already know, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, I'm just worried because he's my main, and repping that Zelda franchise. Spoilers, M. Bison is in Street Fighter. Shocking. How dare you, I don't sir. Think you can, I wanted I that to be a spoil surprise. a fighting game. Today, I, I was at school, and uh, at college, so I don't sound like I'm 12. And <laughs> Colin is, in fact, 12. I, I'm actually 13. Um... But I was I was showing off some uh, some friends like all the quote unquote leaked not really leaked more like people played through the game in Japan because it was released today and uh, my friend we went into class after I showed all the new characters and they're like oh don't spoil anything I'm like I- what's there left I mean unless uh, Smash Four has a single player mode like subspace, which it well, doesn't. Well, I've I've already heard some reports that possibly there are some characters that aren't gonna be playable yet that will be revealed as like part of a connect like you connect your Wii U to your three DS, though none of that has been confirmed just some speculation by people. Uh, saying that there are more characters among the Well, I mean people thought that like Sonic was in melee, so Oh yeah, that's true. Um, but right mm. now there's this is the biggest size roster by Bar of any Smash Bros. game, and that includes yeah. Project Dem. Yeah, it's, um, it's that, really massive. There is room for, I think, what, five more characters? So it is possible that maybe with the Wii U version there would be five new characters, or possibly as just DLC. I personally hope Nintendo doesn't include DLC with this game, and just in general, because I don't like DLC. But that's me. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I think they could probably I think they could probably offer it as DLC, but maybe offer it free if you do link them both to kind of push incentive to buy both copies of the game. Oh, I get you. Is Hyrule Warriors DLC paid or is it free? Um, paid, I, I believe. Think it's paid. Yeah, right. you you get the free pre-order bonuses depending on where you go. But uh, I do know if you pre-order, um, if you actually link both uh, the 3DS and Wii U versions of Smash Brothers to Club Nintendo, you get the soundtrack. Oh yeah, I heard about that. So they're already working on something like that. Didn't uh, Europe just get the Hyrule Warriors like box set revealed for pre-order? The whole we got yeah. it too, but only for Nintendo. Oh World. yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. ridiculous. So only people living in New York can get the pre-order bonuses. Exactly. No, yeah. it's not. It's not even pre-order. It's first come, first serve at midnight release that they're yeah. doing. Oh the really? Bonus. Wow. Yeah. That's even is. worse. That's gonna cause a riot. Uh, absolutely. I live in New York, and it yeah. sucks. Actually, at uh, Zelda so Informer, we have an advanced copy of Hyrule Warriors, and one of our guys has been playing it nonstop for the past week. If you've been, yeah. Good? If you've been following our coverage, I don't know how much we're allowed to say game? because of NDA um, disclosures and stuff. I do. Is Ridley in Hyrule, in Hyrule Warriors? Warriors. Oh, is Ice Climbers in Hyrule spoiler Warriors? <laughs> Spoilers, yeah. yes. Is Ice Climbers? I, Ice Climber in would Hyrule fit Warriors. very well in Hyrule Warriors, I think. Damn it! The 3DS ruined Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the 3DS. It's all the 3DS's fault. Sakurai! Mashed Potato oh, Samurai. Oh, and they just announced a new uh, 3DS. The, the... Xenoblade! Also known as the dedicated Metal Gear Solid yep. handheld. The 3DS has a new retro yeah. version that's being announced. Like, Nintendo really needs to calm down <laughs> with all these different versions of the 3DS because it's just making people sad. Well, I, really, I want to wait to yeah, get well, the, L, I mean, the, the new 3DS LL, whatever the fuck they call it. I want to get it just for Xenoblade, yeah. but now they have the retro ones. Like, yeah, they oh, release. No. They're talking about making a new 3DS altogether, and they're releasing another 3DS. What is this? Yeah, I mean we've we've talked about this on Zelda Informer too. We're we're kind of debating offline and a lot about is this the actual new system, and they're just kind of code naming it new 3DS. But I mean, it comes out like, later this year in Japan. There's already been advertisements so we're not sure. for it as the th- the new 3DS. I think it's going to be right. a DSi situation where there's like maybe three titles that are improved by the new hardware, but that's about it. But one of them is Xenoblade, and I need I it so much. Uh, Xeno Xenoblade. Because, I mean, I, even with the improved CPU, I doubt that's going to give more developers, like, incentive to make more 3DS games. Because it's only slightly faster now. Well, not, well, not even like, 3DS they, they games announced... on, the new, on the new 3DS. It'll be, they'll still code it for the old 3DS because that has a much yeah. larger install base. Well, yeah. So, I, I, I mean, I feel like you're only going to see a handful of titles, one of them being Xenoblade. Because even with the Circle Pad Pro... Uh, being out there, there's only like no games that use it. Um, I can only think of Kid Icarus Uprising, and now Smash and even Bros. that's only for left hand mode. That's yeah. Not, uh... Oh yeah, that is true, isn't it? Yeah. The I I it's Re- uh, Resident Evil Revelations, which they announced Revelations too, and it's not going to the 3DS. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3D. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moon Chronicles, which is good by the way, you should buy it, and uh, Monster Hunter 3 and 4. Well, that's... Yeah, that's just the barely a handful of games. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's... I'm happy to know that this new hardware is coming out. I want to see what games could come out for it. Actually, wait, maybe um Project Steam. Oh, yeah, Project Steam. Uh, that game... I remember seeing it and thinking, man, this is just... It, it's underwhelming, but maybe pro, maybe some Wii U games or older Wii games would can now be ported to a or maybe a Majora 3DS. Mask 3DS. I'm sorry. I I would hope so. Actually, I thought you I heard thought it here, of, folks. Um, Wind Waker 3D coming to the new 3DS. Oh, we are God. we are gonna beat the hell out of that dead horse. I'm actually thinking uh, maybe that's why Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem has been delayed so long is that they're waiting for possibly. 
That would make sense, actually. Oh, don't do that to me. Is that game taking place I've in the Fire Emblem universe or in the Shin Megami Tensei I've... universe? They, uh, they haven't really confirmed anything on that one as far as storyline. Uh, like, they announced it, what was it, 2012 or the beginning of 2013? And then it died off, and I just, maybe mm. three months ago, We're still finally alive, saw something everybody. again We're that still said alive. that they are still working on it. It's still being done, but, yeah, it's still alive, but, but yeah. It, I'm right now, nothing. I'm really curious it's of what me. they're going to do with, like, combat or any of that, because I've played Shin Megami Tensei 4, I hate it, but I played it, and Fire Emblem Awakening is one of my favorite games of all time. I can't see the combat, I can't see the combat oh, yeah. really just, like, overlapping all that well. The storylines maybe with the characters. Well with so maybe. much combat. But I mean it the the thing is the only thing I could see is like did you, I don't know if any of y'all played uh, Project Cross Zone. Uh I no I haven't called. played it. I played but maybe it, two minutes of the demo. It, it kind of had the Yeah, so it kinda of had that same Fire Emblem feel where it was, you know, it was your board and you moved your pieces around basically. Um, but then once you got next to another character, you'd get into a battle sequence. And I'm thinking that they may do something like that, but that would take so much away from the strategy of well, Fire Emblem with if it Hyrule becomes Warriors, a combat they, system they once you meet somebody. basically took a so, whole new direction with the combat in terms of the game. And from what we've, what we've played through, it's really good. It's hard. It's not a Zelda game that you're really going to be used to, but it's really good. Um, so I, I mm -hmm. don't necessarily see mm -hmm. this as a bad thing and I think that especially if the sales for Hyrule Warriors and this upcoming game that hasn't really been announced yet, well not really been re even shown yet for the Shin Megami Tensei Fire Emblem game, if it does well it could really show that Nintendo is open to trying new things and will be willing to go in new directions Actually, um, the even uh, elabor Definitely. elaborate upon Definitely. that, um, Pokéken Tournament Oh yeah I am I am so hyped for that. You have no that clue. That is easily the biggest deviation from um, a series game. I mean, Hyrule Warriors and Zelda, kind of, but it's still heavy combat. This is just... Right. Especially after... This is just like pinging off into a whole other direction. This is just like, we're going one direction, and no, no, different direction. Yeah, I mean, and what was it? Like, six months ago, they actually came... Pokemon came out right and said... Pokemon lives on the handheld. That's where it's going to stay. That's why this was the last thing I was expecting when they announced that. What's even weirder is that it's beginning off in um, Japanese arcades, which there's a good chance it'll be ported to console if it does well in arcades. But still, it's like that's a bit that's a strange place for it to start. Well, I think in my what they meant by Pokemon lives on the handheld, they're probably saying like you're never going to get a full Pokemon. Game yeah, because they've done console, console games. They've Pokemon done Pokemon Call, CM Pokemon uh, Stadium. Oh well, yeah, um, yeah, which is hands down the best uh, game in the franchise. Day, I, don't care what day. Says. I love Pokemon Stadium. Personally, my favorite is still Pokemon Yellow, but uh, just cool. a holy. I mean, my favorite Zelda game is Link to the Past, so. You know I love yourself. Pokemon Yellow. Hey, yeah, no, I'm if, right I, if I were to be honest, uh, I think my favorite would probably be uh, Heart Gold. The, uh, I'll yeah. second you on that. That was, that those was had like those perks crack. of after-game like content that, was... that the rest of the series hasn't really been able to touch Yeah, on. I really like Pokemon's reboot generation. I'm actually really looking forward to Omega, Ruby, and... Uh, what is it? For Sapphire? Oh, I was going to say something like uh, Silver Al Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire. Shiny Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire. Because it's ridiculous, the names. <laughs> Speaking of ridiculous, the Mega Evolutions <laughs> for some of these Pokemon are absurd. Tech and Sharpedo, man, that, that looks so ridiculous. goddamn stupid. Isn't there like a Mega Mudkip or something? No, Mega Swamp. Yeah, there's gonna be a Mega Weezing. I just yeah, hope it's like all the eight Weezings all the put starters. together in some kind of like um, giant I, cloud. Like, why am I still I will alive? Be... <laughs> <laughs> I will be so Weezing. happy with that. I'm I'm honestly most surprised by Mega Altaria oh, getting Dragon yeah, and really Fairy ridiculous. type. That's, That's interesting. just not even fair actually the my favorite mega so far of all these are um low punny and glade those two just look mm -hmm. really badass in my opinion and i'll be choosing blaziken as my starter so mega swampert and septile can go just like not exist i'm, I'm very happy with those two just not being there okay so we talked about pokemon 
we uh, there's not really a whole lot of Zelda to discuss um because there's only high there's only high warriors coming out and there's something that I really wanted to talk about that I haven't seen uh, ZI talk about in a while which is like in I think it was Twilight Princess uh Link does a sumo wrestling competition or some sort of wrestling with Gorons? Yeah, no, he has what? sumo wrestling against not Goron, but just like a really large guy. Yeah, and well, you do eventually face the the Gorons, but it just made me think like, what if they did other kinds mm-hmm. of fighting styles? What if they did like him doing boxing or some kind of item that has to do with that or uh, some form of martial art? I mean, it, it or. Or even different sword styles, because he just uses a long sword and a shield. What if he just has, a, like, a claymore yeah, that'd be really as a sword, actually. or maybe I even a I think it'd be cool if they tried new things, which is why I'm kind of happy that Hero Warriors, at least in our analysis of the game and other websites' early uh, little sneak peeks, um, they've really liked it, because it shows that people are willing to try new things. Um, actually... There's not just websites that are saying, like, little things. There's people that are full-on, like, breaking their contracts and uploading hours of gameplay footage. I remember seeing a few on YouTube already where someone just playing through the entire game in English. It's not really anything that special. I mean, the whole game's already been spoiled because um, Game Explained showed literally everything in the Japanese version. True, but I'm surprised that they're not getting any... They're not getting... uh, Honestly, it's not... Nintendo, who's... Not always the best about people. Cough, cough, uh, ESRB leaks, cough, cough. Well, I mean, probably because the game is already out in Japan, <laughs> so I don't think there's any... You're not really leaking it, you're just showing something that was just released early in a different language, in a different continent than elsewhere. Yeah, and at that point, it's it's kind of up to the, the person watching it. If they want to actually go through and bother yeah. with the translations, then they don't care as much as somebody who sees it accidentally. Also, on that previous note about Twilight Princess, I went to a uh, store recently... <laughs> And actually had Twilight Princess on the GameCube. Oh wow! Oh my God! For, what for fifty bucks? That's ridiculous. And I didn't pick it up because I ended up buying Eternal Darkness for twenty five. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. That and uh, what else did I get? I got um... oh Batman Forever for the Genesis. <laughs> Whatever works for you, man. I I, I I'm st- I'm still on the uh, Destiny. I'm still drinking the Destiny Kool Aid. I do not like Destiny. Oh I man, that game is so good. It's I, I love it. It's everything I wanted from Borderlands and Halo <laughs> so far, so I'm happy. Adam, I'm right there with you. I, I haven't been able to really stop, but it's holding me over to Hyrule Warriors mm-hmm. at least. Yeah, Hyrule Warriors, I'm going to be playing a lot of that. And then my best friend, who love, who's the biggest Zelda fan I know, comes down the week after. And we're going to play the hell out of that too, with Smash Brothers. It's going to be a very eventful weekend. Speaking of overhyped stuff and the Wii U, um, Ubisoft actually announced the release date for Watch Dogs on the Wii U, November 18th. Uh, who's ready to not buy it? <laughs> I, was about to say, I was about to say, is this, this for the news of like all three people who care? Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, just, I'm just ready for uh, Ubisoft to go, like, see? Like, these games don't sell on the Wii U. And it's like, yeah, because you're, you're selling them full price. You know what game I'm more excited about? What game are you excited about, Cohen? The original Legend of Zelda is uh, currently available for purchase uh, at Nintendo's uh, Club Nintendo's 3DS eShop for 200 coins. Really? For the next oh man! Seven days. Yep. Until the 18th. That's awesome. That is awesome. Huh. <laughs> True Zelda believers. That's a game you should get. I got a pretty good list coming out. Hyrule Warriors. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. Oh, I'm excited for that game. Oh Bandit. man! Yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. Oh man! <laughs> Bayonetta two, which yes, um, uh, okay, okay. The Master Chief Collection, because I am a horrible dude, bro. Mm. And uh, they owed us the Master Chief Collection with Bungie. <laughs> it's not like it's not like even something that we yeah. Needed. Omega Ruby. Like, this should be out already. Uh, like a. And Super uh, Smash Mouth for the uh, 3DS and Wii U. And the Wii U, I'm getting the uh, GameCube bundle. Oh, speaking of uh, Super Sma- uh, Smash Brothers, I just remembered that uh, the other night... Super Smash Mouth. Super Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I someone almost, caught that. I almost said it. I almost said it. Um, <laughs> I heard it's like... <laughs> uh, Alf just got there. announced as a alternate for Olimar. It's no. not really a spoiler. 
that's that's something that Sakurai himself put up. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, uh, which I think is weird. It's it's just strange. We made it in my mind. But, uh, I just, um, I would I have preferred know. Louis, but I'll take I'll take that. I would have preferred more colors for Olimar's costume. Actually, no. Louis' hitbox would have been different. So, no, that actually makes sense. I, can, I retract my previous statement. I'm very upset that we can't talk about the uh, the quote unquote leaked fighters of Smash Brothers because there's one I'm really excited about and it's final Smash. Uh, how about in the last like uh, ten minutes of the podcast we'll talk about it? All right, because all I can say is like if you if you love the movie Back to the Future Two, you're gonna love one of the sm- uh, the final smashes of uh, one of the characters of Smash Brothers. I'm- I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking well, about, but I'm going to wait till the last ten minutes to just break free with that because I'm so yeah. hyped. <laughs> I, I, you, you yeah. have no clue how ready I am. Actually, um, me and the guy who was talking about pre-orders, I forgot your name already. I'm so sorry, dude. It's we Colin. have the exact, yeah, Colin. We both have the exact same pre-orders, except I have Borderlands pre-sequel on there also. Um. I, I guess I I have like one PS4 game pre-ordered, and that is because uh, I own all the consoles because I'm a shill, um, <laughs> and that is uh, or Order 1886, which I, I could I'm probably going to horribly regret, but I like it. I, I like what I've seen about the order. It's it, it's good to know the PS4 is at least going to get a game yeah, in the next year. Um, Michael Pactor, <laughs> did you guys hear about this? Michael Pactor said some like really interesting things about uh, the next gen. I mean, he's usually false on those things, but... Yeah, but he said something that's made people really mad. Like, he called PlayStation now a joke. Uh, Well, that's true. There is no publisher that is going to license content that's less than two years old because they would be concerned that they can't sell as many copies if they make it available for subscription or rental. That is a lie because Silent Hill Collection exists. Yeah. He also said that Microsoft and Sony will convert their brand over to cloud-based game streaming services going forward. And Nintendo simply won't be able to keep making hardware, which I doubt completely. Oh, Nintendo, that's bullshit. Nintendo, Nintendo has proven that they can do things that other companies just can't really do. Like, uh... Nintendo's the stone pillar of gaming that will stay there forever. They are not moving. Everything else revolves around Nintendo, especially yeah, after they're the just... Wii. Well, the he was talking more about the hardware, but even then I'm still thinking that that's untrue. I think Nintendo can definitely sell its own hardware. I mean, they've made, like, eight versions of the 3DS at this point. The 3DS and, is doing fine. It's the Wii U that's lagging behind, and even then, it's well, that's, gaining Well, that's what I mean. Now. The 3DS has had so many versions that the Vita is trying its hardest and still can't sell. Yeah, and even beyond the handhelds, like the the Wii U. I remember reading a few. I guess it's been about a month ago now. The Wii U was actually up there, right on top of PS4 as far as sales go, and three or the Xbox Xbox One was the one falling way behind. But I mean, I know the Wii U's been out for a year longer, but accounting for the sales that it actually had in that first year of its life, I, I think it's really made a jump that showing Nintendo isn't really down for the count. They just didn't have the support as far yeah, as software people, goes. People but with Smash coming out, there's no competition. Covering, is that right now the PS4 is not selling at all in Japan. Same thing with the Xbox One. They are not pushing units at all. Oh my gosh, I saw the screenshots yeah. for their lines. That was, which is, which that is was why the Wii U for the Xbox One release. That was ridiculous. Japan, the Wii U is actually getting a lot of uh, good press. Is that serious now? The PS4 is not do- is not popular in Japan. Yeah, its launch was awful. I mean, it's it's abysmal compared to the US numbers, but it's still a good launch, but nothing yeah. compared. It is still a good launch. Now, I don't know if anyone saw the Xbox One Japan <laughs> launch screenshots. I think Kotaku covered it where there was nobody in line all the way up to its release. I'm not that surprised was though. Of... The Xbox has never done well in Japan. They don't get their sales in Japan. They get them from America and Europe. Yeah, I think I think the issue is that both consoles have uh, nothing that audience over there want. Because... They want J- they want JRPGs, which is why the PS3. Yeah. I think is when still Sunset kicking, Overdrive is... comes out, the the Xbox One sales are going to skyrocket in Japan because that game is exactly what they look for. Yeah, because right now, it, I mean, it's strange. It's cool. Yeah, I can it's see very that. high pace and it's very well polished from the looks of it. I'm really hoping this game doesn't let I me don't... down, but I feel like it's gonna. I don't think. Uh... I don't think Destiny or Infamous or uh, Killzone is going to sell over I, there. Killzone doesn't sell. I haven't. Killzone as a series has never been a big seller. 
And I'm, I'm Killzone. Killzone as a series has never necessarily been good either. Yeah, the, the it's all it's always been mediocre at best. I've played each one, and I'm like, I, I it don't. It was get the big it, seller but... for PS4, like Shadowfall. But I've played through Shadowfall, and it wasn't very exciting. I, I think it's one of the most uh, lowered, like, reviewed Killzone games. Yeah. I honestly would rather go back to... I mean, the multiplayer for 3 was alright. Um, I own Killzone Mercenary on the Vita, and it's fun. Um, and Liberation on the PSP was, like, alright, but not really a Killzone. You know a game I went back and played recently that was really fun? I played Four Swords but, for GameCube. I got the... Go. I had the, the GameCube oh, controllers man, I love that, that you can game. plug your uh, Game Boys into. And it was the best. I played the... Uh, here's Here was our setup. I played the the green one because I actually knew what I was doing. Uh, two guys fought over the purple, even though I would have loved to have the purple one. Uh, they, they wanted it more than me, and uh, it ended up working out the best. The guy who was Red Link was the most uh, volatile. He was the most troublesome to everyone involved. Yeah, that sounds about right. Blue was pretty quiet, and the purple one was like, wow, this is amazing, guys. We're on an adventure. This is awesome. Look at that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> help. Somebody help me. He just kept. There was one part where you get where you get shot out of a cannon through a a, a hole, and you fall up, mm-hmm. and then you're supposed to move around so you get out of the hole's way so you fall on the ground. He kept falling up and down for a good thirty seconds. I was gonna say going on to uh, Four Swords, there was actually a uh, website called Rose Colored Gaming, and they make a lot of uh, custom Game Boys and uh, all that kind of stuff. And at one point, they were actually selling for some ridiculous price. I think it was like a thousand dollars. It was, like, four fully customed uh, Game Boy Advances. And each one was, like, a different color and style pertaining to the four different links awesome. in the game. Honestly, Four Swords is one of my favorite, like, underappreciated Zelda games. Because it's just, it's such a blast. I don't, I don't think that's agree. underappreciated. <clears throat> I don't think it's underappreciated, just that <laughs> it takes a lot. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think mine was the only one that kept it from being the bottom. Because when we did that Zelda Informer votes, yeah, I, I'm pretty I sure the put it at least no, here, in the middle of my list. Let, let me explain no. myself before no, okay. um, we continue, okay? The ex- explanation is that it takes a lot of equipment to get up and ready for like to have a f- true four yeah. man adventure. That's that's its only downfall. If it didn't have that, but the thing about it is fine. that the 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 screens are incredibly helpful. Like when you when you're going when you're when you're trying to cattle four different people yeah this oh, man, look great uh, we're gonna link this yeah, up in the, in the section below so uh, link you can check it out they retired them but i mean they're they're awesome those are beautiful oh. i like that <laughs> look who came back yeah hey yeah so uh someone just showed up does, does this mean i get um, no, no, kicked off fine. now yay uh so anyway um, I think we're have we reached that time. Yep, we just reached the uh, the last ten minutes of this like forty minute podcast. So, uh, oh, I didn't oh, get to talk about. Did you uh, want to talk about something? Did you want to talk about something Brothers else? Time. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the thing oh, I was showing which you yesterday. Oh, uh, retro gaming stores, and their horrendous oh, yeah. pricing. Yeah, the uh, the recent boom uh, in retro gaming being like. A highly coveted prize in terms of like how much they charge is honestly a really big issue. It's uh, caused a lot of issues in the community. Uh, yeah, we we've dedicated the last couple of minutes right here at the end to talk about uh, Smash Brothers. Uh, if you don't want to hear any spoilers, then I guess I'll uh, I'll send you off now and uh, say thank you for listening to our first podcast. I know it was a little rough at times, um, but uh, we really appreciate the support. Uh, be sure to email us any tips, suggestions, anything like that uh, at uh, our email address, which is zeldainformerpodcast at gmail.com. That's zeldainformerpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, so uh, have a good night or good afternoon, depending on when you're listening to this. Uh, if you're sticking around, then we're about to start the spoilers in three, two, one. Okay. Duck Hunt Dog. Duck Hunt Dog. Duck Hunt Dog! Duck Hunt Dog! Oh my god, Duck Hunt Dog! The hype train has no brakes on this. The hype train has no brakes! The hype train has no brakes!
So I, I actually haven't seen it yet. Is it playing like uh, Solid Snakes did in the last one, where you kind of gain control of the screen and start shooting things for a little bit? Um, no, he actually spawns like the cowboys from Wild Gunmen, and they like fire a pot shot and they leave. I, w- I want to say it's more like um. Ah, the thing that I'm most uh, Mega excited Man's about is probably yeah. besides Duck that, from what I've seen, it, that's what it looks like. The weirdest thing I've ever seen in a Smash Bros. Oh, game. okay. Uh, Ganondorf. In the game. No, Duck Hunt Dog. You're in the so best. That, 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 no, that still goes to Game and Watch. That Let's still goes to Game and Watch. It's for me. Yeah. Duck Hunt Dog was one of those, like, when it was leaked, when the image or whatever was leaked a few weeks it back. It was so ridiculous. I saw Duck could not believe the leak. Yeah, I that saw Duck Hunt Dog, happen. and I was one of those people who was just really like, no, Duck Hunt Dog. I mean, it's a cute idea, but Sakurai had never put that in there. That has no place in Smash. And he... he proved Mega Man, Pac-Man, Sonic, Mario, and Duck Hunt Dog. All these characters... No, I would say... I... I would say the only two things I played in the Soldier, at least new character-wise, um, is Mega Man. Well, and even Duncan the All Star mode is eight. all about uh, and Pac-Man. based on how many, when you, what year they came out in. They'll be right, like uh, 1963, 1974. Oh, also, um, Little Mac. Uh, Let's not yeah, forget Little, Little Mac, Mac as well. I uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say Little Mac only because there's a recent Wii game. But the other it. thing is that yeah. um, the the menu screen music and everything is all Smash 64 music. It's not Smash Brothers Melee music, which they were using for Brawl. It's the original music. Oh, nice. I think that this game is really them like going to the nostalgia, just with the the character lineup with like Pit and Dark Pit, uh, which was baffling to see that Dark Pit was actually a character, uh, and Doctor Mario. Doctor Mario, who hasn't been in an actual game since Melee, I'm disappointed highly that, that he's a clone not for many years. Um, I am super happy that Ganondorf's back. I, I had to just get that out there. Did you at wait? Did you actually oh, yeah. doubt that he would be cut? As any man should. <laughs> You're as bad as the Captain Falcon dudes. Indeed. I mean, it's like, of course he's going to be in the game. He's one of the biggest characters. He was Sakurai's main in Brawl. I didn't know that. Yeah, he mains uh, Ganondorf. So it's like one of those. Of course he's going. Ganondorf to be. is best dwarf. I, I want to be honest, as soon as I saw Shulk I'm, announced, I was happy. Those, I was like, I'm done. For those of you still I'm listening, oh, yeah. I, uh, that was uh, it. That's all I needed. Orlando, which is currently one of the biggest Smash scenes for at least Melee, and definitely for PM and uh, Brawl. To, to us down here, characters being renewed in the new game is very important. Uh, the ones that aren't Melee purists, which a lot of us down here are. Um, and Gandorf was my main for the longest time. Still is. Because uh, he's very dear to me. Uh, I heard he might be getting a sword. Is that, is that yeah, true? Yeah, I live in I Bur- any- I've heard that. I, I'm- um, not from what I've seen. I've seen um, a guy who was uh, trying to unlock him. I have. I was barely paying attention, but I didn't see a sword right off the bat. So another thing that I liked um, that actually surprised me... I've- I can't remember back to the leaks. So you all help me out, but Dark Pit was his own character and not an actual alternate, right? Yeah, Dark Pit is his own character yeah. this time. He has a different. Moveset. And Doctor Mario is also is his own his character. own character with Mario's original down B, which is right. Really, which just means that Mario has just become obsolete. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, with those two getting their own characters, it kind of I'm now a little upset that Fierce Deity Link actually was just an alternate skin. I think he could have actually had a complete loon move set dropping the sword with the helix sword. Um Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, especially with the others getting theirs. I, I just feel yeah, like the, I don't know. That's just me, but I'm also the Helix uh, Sword is definitely a strange I sword saw that. from the Master Sword. So yeah, I, I would agree on that one that he could have been his own character. And uh apparently no ice climbers. Yeah that's no a ice sad climbers. One. That that w- I'm, I don't know why everybody's uh, so mad. I don't think anyone... I've been to a lot of Smash Brothers tournaments. I've never seen anyone play Ice Climbers. They're fun. I play they're, Ice Climbers. Yeah. Ice Climbers are fun. They're not... They're not the... If you can desync Ice Climbers, they become really OP quickly. Have you heard yeah. of Wobbling? Uh, sort of. Uh, basically, there's an, infi- there's an infinite grab combo oh, yeah, that oh, you yeah. can get the Ice Climbers in, in Melee. And there's one guy who's That's like... That's crazy. Notor- he's famous for it <laughs> in the Smash scene. Yeah, there's... Smash characters are very important. Um, I remember having a discussion uh, just today, really, 
uh, that Adam was also a part of, the other Adam in this conversation, uh, about a uh, hunt dog possibly being a counter yeah. fox. <laughs> and, uh... What about the fact that yeah, uh, Duck Hunt Dog little... is supposed to be, like, in spirit, Banjo-Kazooie? Did you see that? Yeah, no, there's an, al- there's an alternate skin that apparently kind of resembles Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, it turns the, the duck red and uh, the dog, like, like a dark brown, almost huh. black. Right now I'm just uh, kind of surprised at the lack of new characters that haven't that weren't revealed. Like, it just seems like there were... In Brawl, especially, there were a lot more. Uh, that were just I think it was actually even. Unannounced? I think it was actually very even, because Lucario wasn't announced, Lu- Lucas was announced, but so wasn't, but Ganondorf also wasn't announced, sure. same with Ness. If I remember right. I, I think it was very even. There was 12 unannounced characters, 6 of them being new, 6 of them being veteran. Well, then we've also got to take into account the... The four that we may potentially be getting for for linking the Wii U with the 3DS versions. Now, I mean, of course, it's no, still it, just room. Isn't it? Isn't it five? It may be five, but I mean, one of those being Mewtwo. Uh, I that right there is all I needed. Lucario's out. I don't even care about Lucario anymore. Um, Lucario's in the I, game. I, I still don't care. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I know Lucario's in the game, but I oh. I won't be playing him if Mewtwo is available. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't... That's one of those that... If it comes true, cool, we have another Pokemon. I still don't care for either one. But who are the other four? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, people have been predicting Chorus Kids still because of Gamatsu. Yeah. Um, R- Ridley. Uh, people still want Ridley, so of course Ridley's gotta be in there. People also want Impa as a Sheik clone. That would be cool. Which, yeah, I'd be okay with that. And, um, I would like to see uh, Phoenix Wright. In a He's reading Marvel vs. Capcom, so I don't think that. That and would... Cooking Mama. I know those are. I know those are very kind of weird choices, but those are kind of prominent, like Nintendo DS. Type Phoenix Wright and who else? Uh, Cooking Mama. Oh yeah, we we talked about that. We've talked uh, about that before. We've talked about that. Uh, I don't know. I think she'd offer a good move set. Um, <laughs> Cook, Cooking Mama can have. Cur- Kirby's old final smash. I, uh, I think yeah, it's yeah. about time that we wrap up. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in uh, to the first Zelda Informer podcast. And um, I mm-hmm. hope you enjoyed the discussion. Once again, let us know if you have any uh, suggestions, tips, stories, questions, uh, things you'd like to talk about in the community, anything. This is a community podcast, so you know it's, it really depends on you guys. This first one was just us trying to get a conversation started and see what, how things go. Uh, there will probably be new people next week. Um, so send us that all that in uh, at our to our email address at uh, Zelda Informer Podcast at gmail dot com. Uh, once again, that's Zelda Informer Podcast at gmail dot com. Uh, thanks, t- uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks, guys. Good night. Bye. See you guys. See See you guys. Guys.